Officially out of excuses to stay out here. Must mean it's chemistry time. Das ist unser Stichwort und ich würde sagen, wir gehen direkt mal in die Schule rein und herzlich willkommen zurück bei Life is Strange, Before the Storm. Und ja, Waldbrand haben wir auch schon unterzeichnet. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? Please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat! You shut the fuck up! Go, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. So komme ich nie in den Unterricht. <laughs> Ähm, hier, Nachrichten. Warum? Isst du mit uns zu Abend? Nein, danke. Kommst du irgendwann heute nach Hause? Ach nee, das haben wir ja schon. Ah, oh, das war ja, weil wir auf dem Konzert waren. Okay, Entschuldigung. Es freut mich, dass wir reden konnten. Mich auch. Ich weiß, du tust dein Bestes. Ich liebe dich. Ja, ich finde es manchmal ein bisschen verwirrend mit den ganzen Nachrichten. Aber gut. Oh, good. You're here.
I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Da fragt ihr mich, oje. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kinda helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be do- Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Times are hard for elite private high schools. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Dana, du bist wunderschön. Willst du mit mir ausgehen? Ich find's super. Von durchgestrichen Logan. <laughs> Rate wer. Ist ja auch sehr, sehr schwer. Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Wo sind die ganzen Stifte? Ich weiß, dass du es warst. Hayden. Ja, ja. Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you.
Here you go. Ow! <laughs> I didn't say attack me with it. Shit. Sorry. Oops. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ich überlege nur, was mit unserer Unterrichtsstunde ist. <lacht> Oder schwänzen wir einfach. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye. That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. We can Chloe as Rebellen, also Schule schwänzen. <laughs> You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair? Maybe one of these crates. Okay, ich muss erst den Anfang suchen. Uh, hey, warum warst du nicht bei Chemie? Alles okay? Yep. Was ist mit der... Äh, was ist mit True gelaufen? Es das heißt, du warst klasse? Yep. Lass uns später reden. Okay. Wir fahren gerade Zug. <lacht> ich wollte erst noch hier gucken. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Everybody lies. I like that. I was supposed to read Huck Finn in English last year. Now I'm living it. Price one, Twain zero. There's my chair. All right, Chloe. 
You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. I is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Uh, uh <laughs> so, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. Okay. I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. 
I kind of still do. Arr. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called the Misfits. Impressive. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's... weird. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. Hugh and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's... ah... <laughs> the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. I'm sorry I said anything. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. <laughs> oh, God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh. Are you accepting applications? Considering it. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, you absolutely rock. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is... something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket, then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations, second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list, too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. 
You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen? bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! It's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. 
Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Gut, ich würde aber sagen, wir entscheiden uns dann in der nächsten Folge für A oder D. Und bis dahin dann erstmal. Tschüss.